Welcome back, everybody. Today, we have hopes. Our first hope is to just get to the 26, which we should, right? Come on. Second hope is to um, maybe start on a new mission. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, uh, today, well, I guess tonight, we're going to finish watching the movie that we rented. I think it was Jailbreak? Yeah. Which, I I don't think it's... It can't be Shawshank. I think it's The Rock. Damn it, they're onto us. We're out of time. Wait, just wait. Look at my back. See the map? If we take this route instead, we might stand a chance. These men are crafting a detailed plan to escape from prison. That's incredible. They're swinging the guards and making small gadgets. How do you think they think of all that? I mean, you kind of just learn that stuff in prison, oh. don't you? Like, watch 60 days and you'll you'll see that. Jesus. Hmm. But yeah. We leveled up our proficiency. Oh. All right. Went from skilled to masterful, and that's gonna help a lot with um basically any reload we have, so. Hey. Good shit. I'm about it. <clears throat> Jesus, I almost died. You seem quite busy, Sai san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. Isn't the, like, the enemy of my enemy by friend, though? Like, come on. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? Uh, yeah, I got a problem. <laughs> How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But don't you think the case you are pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. They're not the same though, Akechi. Like, come on. Come on, Ketchup. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Maybe. <laughs> There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. There's nothing that I, I guess it kind of supports it, but I don't know. I don't know, you Chief. Mentioned this to the police. I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. Dang. Catchy's a snake. I'm glad to hear that. Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. Uh, not, maybe not any means necessary, but come on. Very well, I'll go commit war crimes. <laughs> this seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. You haven't won shit. Okay. Time for sushi. The, this place is in Ginza, right? 
do we take the usual train from Shibuya? Yeah, we travel on the Ginza line a lot, Morgana. Oh, I've been here. <laughs> Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Hey, at least we had to eat something this time. This is the same place we went to with the uh, Gramps, right? Like, heck yeah, let's go. I don't see any prices listed here. Don't worry about it, Yusuke. It's fine. There's a call market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Tell him, Ryuji. Talk to him. So good. <laughs> Just maybe uh, next time, not with your mouth open, Ryuji. That's kind of bad manners. Or not with your... Yeah, don't talk to him with your mouth open. Never do that. When your mouth's full. That's what I meant. Glad you're having a good time on. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. Yeah, don't talk. <laughs> Be quiet and shut up. By the way. What's up, Makoto? Is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? We talked about this before. I don't think so. Bad again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Um... Again. No. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no-good jerk pretending to be a guardian. There is always that sliver of doubt, right? Like... But why wouldn't he have done that to me? Like, I... There's... I don't know. I guess I'm kind of not his... Kid? But yeah. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. We can tr just We could say his name and it'd probably come up, right? Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. What did I say? What did I say? I told y'all. We're fine. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. It could be a memento target, but I think if you're doing that, I don't know though. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Oh, but even then, like... I think for Mementos, they get hits. So yeah, he's fine. He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba <laughs> came from. I <laughs> mean, maybe. Doubtful. But yeah, doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. It could be true. It could be true. How foolish. But yeah, probably not. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the fan of these. Shh, Ryuji, be quiet, Jesus. Well, okay, I guess the game's over. Thanks, Ryuji. Thanks a lot. Appreciate you. Uh, um, f f fan Fantastic! This sushi is delicious! Koda! Good job covering us, but, um, I... Maybe it'll work? Y yeah! The fish is so fresh! <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. <sighs> yeah, I don't- I didn't think it would work, like, come on. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. <laughs> we're- we're in the open, Ryuji, come on. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. Ryuji, have you not learned from what happened with Makoto? My god. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Now oh, we need something to talk about, I guess. I don't know. Could be about anything else, though. Ijima-san, 
What are you doing here? Oh jeez, what are you doing here, Akechi? Akechi kun. Akechi. You're the ones from the TV station. <laughs> Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? <laughs> oh yes. Hello, Akechi. How are you? Y yeah. This guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, he probably knows about the Madarame case, so. Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. Ha ha ha. Who are you, that one girl? From Dongon Rampa one that everybody forgets about. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a f Oh god, I've sorry, I skipped that. Recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. I had, I, I skipped um your former pupil of Madarame, right? Sorry. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? You fuck with the war, <laughs> Ryuji. Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um. She's uh a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. <laughs> I guess we all kind of are, aren't we, Reach? Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. Why? Are you, why is he holding it like that? What is with these comments? Is leftover food? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation, but I must say. This is an interesting group. He's not wrong. We have Ryuji the problem child on the model that never fit in. The transfer student who's been arrested. The class president. And then the person that suffered from Madarame's abuse. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. Yeah, that's what I kind of said. Sorry. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. How is Makoto connect? I guess it... Yeah, okay. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Um... Well, they kind of need to say something, like ignoring them. That just means they can say whatever they want, so I guess retaliate. Hmm. So you share the majority's opinion? Yeah. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. <laughs> if anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. Yeah, what would you do, Akechi? Hmm? <laughs> My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. Oh god. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. He, he he's spot on. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Uh <laughs> what what, what what can I say? It's uh, just you know, we're just, just a group of friends. Okay, you come on, come on now. What? You gonna report us for being friends? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good to hear. Seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. What exquisite vocabulary, Akechi. Hmm. Indubitably. You really are an intriguing one. 
I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? A lot of what he's saying has already been said by Gramps, Yoshida. Like, he, he thought they were gonna be young ones. Like, people are in. So, it, it makes sense. Or, yeah. How about we'd make a great team if we work together? <laughs> he could be useful. What the hell are you saying? Yeah, how would we help you, though, in that aspect? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? I don't know, I'm like, he's just... Ugh. Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? No. Maybe. Ah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... Maybe best to be cautious from now on. Yeah, it's very iffy. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. So we have a month? Okay, I mean, that's not a bad deadline. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. Why would you punish them, though? Like, just punish us, right? For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. What is going on with my audio? I watch it back and it's like, you do hear it. That's weird. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. Yeah, I don't know about that one either. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. Yeah, it does. Like, we needed to do something. We. We don't have any leads, like Alibaba's not talking to us anymore, whatever. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Medjet will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. How are they gonna attack Japan? The economy will suffer? Maybe, uh... Maybe they're holding the line. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. We need to do something. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblon? We can talk more over there. Yeah, then you can say we're friend of these all you want. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. That's if they'll even talk to us. Like, we don't even know if they'll do that. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. We can take shots in the dark. That's all I really got for us right now. Damn it, Alibaba. Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Why? Huh? It's you, Ryuji, isn't it? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Hmm. Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? 
You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Uh, well, with what we say on our text, our group text, like, no, he wouldn't. This is, this isn't a good line to go down. Like, no, they wouldn't have to, because we would say, oh, we succeeded, let's celebrate, ooh, or something. Like, let's be honest. Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me... I mean, the part about putting the, the envelope... Yeah, I mean, technically you could have hired somebody to do it, you never know, but... Yeah, that that's what more so puts him near LeBlanc. Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Bum bum bum! For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Why? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. Oh god, that just points fingers at Sojiro though. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yeah. Will it be okay? Will he be okay with this? Like, I need a place to live, dog. I won't ask anything that will get you thrown out. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. Oh, heck yeah, that's a good one. He'll like that. Maybe he won't even want it, Morgana. It's fine. No complaining. Let's all go together. Yo, Morgana got the short end of the stick. Did he even get to eat? Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. He might be even happier. He seems like a ladies' man. Uh, nah. We can we can all go together. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Maybe he does it so nobody robs the place. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. <laughs> I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. <laughs> oh, the gate is unlocked. <laughs> Imagine you're a salesman and like, oh, the door's unlocked. Might as well just go in. You can't go open in other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Sodro, you need to, wait. Like, lock your door. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Good God. Well, it sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. <laughs> when Sodro comes back. Oh, sorry, we we're just taking cover from the, the rain. No big deal, my bad. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> uh. My apologies, boss. Uh, hello, sir? He's not out, is he? I mean, we said he would have answered the doorbell, so probably. The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? Why is that where your head goes, Ryuji? That's scary. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Yeah. Please excuse us. <laughs> House is haunted. How should I know? Yeah, we basically have the mystery team here. With one extra person. Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please. Can we just go? 
No, we must finish what we started. What are you freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out! It's okay, On. Koto, it's okay, you too. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Oh, well, she's out of here. Uh, sorry, um, can I hold your hand? Fine, Makoto. Han's not gonna like it, though. I can sense someone's presence. I can sense an enemy stand. Joker's so calm, and Makoto's just on his shoulder, like he's just like, oh, whatever. I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No, no, my legs won't move. His hands in his pockets like <laughs> how unaffected by stuff can you be like he's just like yeah man yeah, girls around my leg another girl just scared her whatever Alibaba! Hey, come on. Where are you? clearly in the room she just went into <laughs> She even asked for a sis, not her mom. Adorable. Are you okay, Butaba? Wait, so he was here? Crap, he's home. Oh, he just got home, gotcha. Oh, this is weird. Who the hell are you? Don't move. You hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Please, save me! Hey, Sodro. How's it going, Dad? You? What are you doing in my house? This is so, like... <laughs> You're... <laughs> I was in the middle of trying to pull down his pants. <laughs> Nijima -san. What is that frog that's on his desk? Y'all see that? That thing's creepy too. Wait, are you two dating? Uh, no. We're just friends. That's why I'm wrapped around his leg. Friends nowadays get that close to each other? Yeah, so true, you might like it. <laughs> but that's not it! This, um, uh, things happened, and... You kids are here too? Yeah, we're trying to have an orgy. <laughs> um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. He likes on. He'll listen to on. We know this. The door was unlocked. Yes. Yeah, it's not like I have a key to this place. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Because I'm getting old. So true, Jesus. That's not an excuse. Like you can't be that forgetful. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm. There's someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Oh crap, so he's actually gonna tell us. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh... <laughs> uh... Um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? 
I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, like she frightened you, but whatever. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. Mm hmm? I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. I mean, it, it, uh, we did ask about it, but it's not like he has... We don't have any right to know about him, really. Like, he kind of took us in and it's like, Hey, don't ask questions. Like, he's taking care of us. He's giving us a place to live. But when we asked about it, I guess he kind of shrugged it off, but... Understandably so. I don't know. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Well, she's hearing us now, so she knows we're talking about her. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Mm hmm. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. Probably because you're kind of weird too, Sojuro. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. Dang. What happened to her, though? I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. He's using, like, past tense. Something has to have happened. I thought that had changed after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. He didn't say our kid, either. He said her kid. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about, like, since he's telling us everything, we might as well ask stuff, right? Like, what about her father? There wasn't a father. Oh. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. <laughs> I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. <laughs> I know this isn't the time, but, like, <laughs> I just imagine you escaping. Do you mean Utaba is the next Jesus, and she... Her mother is the Virgin Mary? <laughs> and so she's like, no, there, there probably was a father, Yusuke, chill out. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. She... she left? Or did she die? Yes. She committed suicide. God dang it, dude. Why can't nobody be happy in this series? Suicide? Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh my god. What the heck? Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. Like Listen, if you if if you have those thoughts, seek help. Like there's there's resources out there. There's people out there that can listen, but out of all like if she came to that decision, why choose to do it like that? That just does not sound like a good idea. For multiple reasons, but god dang. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Yeah, I can understand why. 
Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? And watching it happen in front of her? Probably. I kept talking to her, though. And she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out. Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Yeah. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. God, no. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Yeah. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? Yes, yeah, so Sojuro, if you haven't, I know a good one. I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Dang, so he really has tried. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. A neat, yeah. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. The, how does... <sighs> Okay, it makes sense why Sai was here then. Probably because they- how would that even get out, though? That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Understandable. I understand, Sojuro. Like, it's fine. Like, what God. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. Eh, like, that's true. And I'm on Sojuro's side, but I can definitely see why Sai would be like, Hey, you're a bad parent. This is abuse. Which is wrong, but... God, poor Sojuro. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. Yeah. Like, we know what she wants, but is yeah, what about you, Sojuro? What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Aww. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Yeah. I'm gonna head back then. God. You all had better head home soon, too. I... I dead. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. Yeah, we all should. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. <sighs> so she'd like to discard her feelings of pain can't do anything about it herself. God dang it. I need to take a second, chat. Jesus. Let me, while I'm taking a second, just reset my cam because I see it's out of focus. There we go. Ah, screw this. Will changing her heart really help her, though? Maybe. If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. It, it, it's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? I was gonna say we should try putting her name in. 
Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Maybe? Candidate found. What the? Interesting. She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? Oh no. I haven't seen him for some time. Probably still in the house. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. <laughs> so Drew likes him more than me. Oh, he did. Maybe maybe he likes me more now? I don't know. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. You could have a sleep over here if y'all are down. Like, come on. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. They literally could have just had our homeroom teachers do that, but... I mean, it is our fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Is she gonna hear the... the candidate found? What the... No. She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Morgana... Wait, no, she's wearing headphones, so I don't think... Morgana would hear it, but where'd Morgana go? We kind of already know where Morgana went, but, uh, more like where he stayed, you know? But today, or the rest of the day, um, can't really do anything, as you can see. So, instead, we're just gonna feed our houseplant some nutrients. You like this plant got a little bit healthier. Heck yeah, it did. That's the premium shit. That should be good enough for a while. And yeah. Um, I'm just gonna save right now. I can't remember the last time we saved, actually. It was yesterday, but that was kind of a long cutscene, so... I'm just gonna save so I don't have to go through it again, if I ever have to. Hopefully we don't keep ruining 100% runs around here and get annoyed. But yeah, let's go to bed. Oh, welcome back. Going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was. I had a feeling where you were. It's all good, Morgana. I take it the chief told you about Futaba, and then you guys disbanded in relief for now. Uh, how'd you know that? You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. <sighs> PS5 or Final Fantasy X? Uh... I'd probably get Final Fantasy X first. What's up, Vile Knight? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm assuming that's what that abbreviation was, and not something else. I was checking out the chief's house. 
I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Uh, what was she like? Like, I don't, I don't care about, like... I'm assuming that just means younger than whatever else. Oh. Oh, I've never seen it abbreviated as PS5. I thought you are talking about an entire system versus a game. I was like, uh, well then, I don't know. Um, I like Persona more, to be honest. But that's just me. Um... But Final Fantasy is 10. Final Fantasy 10 is good too, just because it still has, um... I'm trying to remember. I always get the numbers confused. It still has, uh, turn-based, which I like turn-based combat. Something I don't... I kind of disliked about the Final Fantasy 7 remake. Me and my six friends who like turn-based combat. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, I mostly do Persona 5 tier lists every now and then. Want to do some other stuff. When Scramble comes out, I'll be playing that too, so... Yeah, what was she like, Morgana? She had long hair and a pretty young-sounding voice. Wait, why was she talking? Did, does she just talk to herself, Morgana? I'm a JRPG nerd? Heck yeah. That's the goal, It's just... Play JRPGs and weeb games. And get to the top of Twitch. <laughs> that's that's the end goal. <laughs> well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. That's a joke, by the way. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. At least know we... N now we know she has the place bugged. Like, good god. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. God, could you imagine Futaba's, like, Amazon orders? Like, yeah, I need, um, a couple bugs, a couple, uh, bears that have cameras in them, you know. Just the usual stuff. Nothing, nothing weird. Nothing weird. <laughs> Futaba... The Amazon guy's just like, what, what is this creepy person into? Like, Jesus. Um. Yeah, what an odd girl. Let's. In any case, we'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Sure, hopefully ch the chief doesn't mind. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. We'll do, Morgana. What? I'll do it now. God, what is Sai gonna say this time? You stopped me from prosecuting Zojiro! How dare you! <sighs> Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Oh, sorry, I don't have the lurk. I don't have the, that enabled. Like, I'm, I'm a total noob when it comes to, like, Twitch bots. I have, like, a couple commands. A couple of them are secret commands, actually. Um, but yeah. Sorry, I don't have the lurk. Because I've never understood the point of it. Like, I, I know streamers who have it, but I don't know. I'll probably make, like, whenever I get emotes, I'll do a lurking emote eventually. Um... They're not unrelated, though, are they? Like, she has to have connections to them, right? Um... Are you surprised, Sai? <laughs> that should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. So now, can you trust us? It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Finally listening. That's what I want to say, but that's, like... This is what you say if you don't understand the position you're in. If you're in Joker's shoes. Like, <laughs> you could literally go to jail. And stay there for life. So, I will be respectable. 
If you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. How is that a jab? Did you want me to say the other thing? It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Well, let me play the rest of the game and I'll tell you. <laughs> Team Sainijima is starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Yeah. Judge 2. Saw. So. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. Well, I mean, her house wasn't coffee joint, so I, I don't know. Okay. What a coincidence. No, perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Perhaps it's fate. What does that mean? Whatever. Back to the game!